morning. Welcome to Dog Man. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring morning. A little bit of humidity in the air. It's going to be a hot summer. I, I can already tell. Already tell. Been running the AC for probably four days now. You know, it doesn't run constantly. Oh, uh, we're going to have to fight Waddles here this morning. He's very boisterous. Ah, uh, I'm out on the upper deck getting ready to get dressed and get work. Get some work done. I didn't do anything yesterday. Nothing at all. So you got to have some days like that. Uh, I'm going to bust out all the tools needed to do work with cedar putting my facings on cabinets and we should get it knock out knock out a good part of that today um i am hoping that i'm gonna have to be fighting him the whole time while i'm talking waddles you know ch chickens they don't listen then i got these other two let's let's just go take a look let me turn you around Go see what these guys are doing. I hear some shenanigans down in the carport. What are you girls doing? I see you down there. Millie. Millie doesn't get the concept that I'm upstairs. Well, there's Waddles and a, Waddles and a Blue Jay. All right. And uh, just found out. Hold on. Let me sit back down. Just found out that the cushion that I'm sitting on is soaking wet. <laughs> yeah. Got the wet bottom syndrome. That never feels good. All right. So we're going to try to get some work done today. The grass is mowed. Now this time of year, man, I got to keep up with all the grass cutting, the weed eatings, all that good stuff. I uh, did that the other day. <laughs> Lily, Lily's out in front of me doing her business. Okay, good thing, good thing I put the camera down when I did. Hey, man, dogs don't have no shame. They don't care. So I'm trying to balance what's going on, you know, with my remodel and just keeping up with the place. And it's not, not full-blown yet, but it's getting that way. So we'll keep up with that. Uh, and I'm not having a garden this year, so... Not saying I ain't gonna have one next year. I'm just taking a year break. It'll be the first year break probably since I've been here. Other than the first year I was here, I did not have. I, I didn't get here until probably June or July. J yeah, June of 2014. So it was a bit late to start a garden. However, I did have I did have some tomato plants and some pots. Now I do have some bell peppers that I started. Uh, I may put them in some smaller pots just to grow them. You know, what, you gonna, what am I going to do, man? Just let my peppers die? No. But this area down below me, I planted grass seed. So uh, I want, that is part of flood control, is growing grass there. Uh, I didn't have any issues until I cleared that area out. So I need to get the grass back. I also added probably nine ten inches of topsoil so that should help me there i haven't had any issues though so we'll see what happens there and i'm hanging on to my pots you know but i think if i have a garden again which i will i'm gonna have some very large raised beds so this soil that i had was not the greatest so i'm not real concerned about dumping it i know soil gets better with time but that was cheap stuff I bought from the grocery store for $2 a bag, probably 100 bags. And it was just never good to start with. So what I will probably do maybe next year is have a whole dump truck of good topsoil brought in and build me some big raised beds. Um, probably several. I don't know where I'll put them. But I do want to have a greenhouse. So that is in the plans, distant plans. Probably maybe this coming winter, build a greenhouse, and then we can we can have some stuff year round. Uh, yes, I'm not stupid. I am gonna 
I am going to have gardens again, just not this year. I got too many things going on, and sometimes you just need a break from something, a break from the routine. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't know what else. Just enjoy being outside this time of year. In a few months, I'm, or in a month, I'm not going to be able to do this, come out here. Even this time of morning, it will be too miserably hot. Is that a word, too miserably? Too miserable. So we'll not be able to get be out here. It's It, it gets hot early. As soon, as soon as the sun comes up, it starts getting hot here. Uh, yesterday, yeah, I need to, when I get my sear, my saws and everything out, I got to build her... Libby's grave's over there. I got to build a little frame for her headstone. Yesterday was one year anniversary when she went up to the doggy heaven. So I need to get that on there. It's just been laying around. I got too much stuff laying around. And I want to build some small cedar shelves to put in my office area. So I'll be able to get that done. I'll probably, probably be working with this cedar for the next three or four days. And uh, I want to take all these cabinet doors off the lower part of my kitchen cabinet, the existing kitchen cabinet, get them sanded up. And I'm going to change them up a little bit. I'm going to beef up the facing that's on the cabinet, make them look better. Um, it's got food, you know, food over the couple, last couple of years. Uh, food is spilled on the tops of the cabinets. Nice thing about cedar, you just sand it, it's brand new. But it ain't new, it's old. But it looks new. It looks good. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I wasn't even going to put a video up today, but well, I figure why not? Well, I just can't get the settings right on this camera. It, it's still recording, but the screen goes off. Don't know why that bugs me. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, I need to start coming out here and sitting up here more often. Now, the, the table that I had up here... I got my laser machine on, so I need to get that laser machine into that building behind me. Can you see it? Right there. Get that in there, and then I can put my table back up here. But man, this, you know, this is out in the open sun. I need to come up with, I don't know, an umbrella. Umbrellas just get tore up here. It's too windy. Um, some kind of shade. I don't know. With an A-frame house, it's hard to come up with some kind of uh, something that looks good, you know, for shade. But I might, I do have a couple things in mind, but that's I got other things going on right now. So that's down the road. Uh, I've got a lot of this scrap into this old in this dog kennel over here that I got to turn into something, and that, and that's a big part of what the new shop's going to be. Uh, birdhouses, shelves, you know, those are easy sell items. You wouldn't, I mean, five, ten bucks a piece all day long. And just need to, I need to get to the point where I'm no longer working on this place. It's done. And then I can enjoy life, you know, do little carpentry projects in there. I've got all the tools, got everything I need. I've got tools that I've had 10 years. Like band saws that I haven't even never set up because I just haven't had anywhere to do it. So like this building, I need a big table in the middle that will that I can lay four by eight sheets on. I mean, it's not that huge of a building, but it's big enough I could do some stuff like that. Uh, I've got to get some steps built or a ramp, and I mean that's stuff that <clears throat> that's not going to take me long. But it's never ending. Living, you know, living rural, the work is never ending, especially if you bought something like I did that was in, in a shambles. I mean, an utter shambles when I bought it. Uh, it takes time. And, you know, up until 2021, I was working full time uh, at the ranch and then the pawn shop full time. So I didn't have all the time that I do now to work on it. And I was paying it off. So a lot of that stuff did not get done. Now that it's paid off, well, I can put money into the actual cabin. Because um, before, 
you know, it was just a little here, a little there, whatever I could afford. But in the process, I was paying off the place, getting set up. And guys, you have to remember when I came here in 2012, I didn't have anything. I had nothing. I had a couple of boxes uh, and, a, and a few suitcases. That was it. No furniture, nothing. So everything that I own now, I've built up since then. And, and that stuff takes time. Now I got too much stuff. Yeah, when you got to start buying storage buildings, <laughs> you got too much. So anyway, I'm going to make this one short. Uh, I'm going to film today what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully I make some good progress to where I can get a video out of it. Now that'll be up on the Washita Mountain channel uh, later today. That is my main channel. Uh, the way you can tell them apart is because that has almost 13,000 subs and this doesn't. But this channel, I'm surprised, is growing very well. And so we'll, you know, this is pretty much a podcast channel, vlog channel. But I will put videos up on here occasionally uh, just to spice it up. You never know what's going to be on here. I'm not putting a whole lot of shorts and things like that on this channel, uh, the other channel. And I'm a firm believer in doing shorts because they, they bring you a lot of subscribers. A lot of new people, uh, a lot of us in here in this area all have the same subscribers, and that's fine. But I am not claiming, uh, it's a click, man. It's a click, and I don't want to belong to any clicks. I do my own thing, I always have. So everybody says, oh, you're in the family. Well, I hate that word for one thing. But no, I'm not. I'm not. I do my own thing. Somebody needs help, I help them out. But I'm not getting into that whole thing, uh, if you know what I'm talking about. I do my own thing. I'm not into moving every, you know, filming moves and things like that. They can do what they want, but, uh, you know, I'm my own guy. And Waddles is his own rooster. So uh, I don't want to be put into a category, if you understand what I'm talking about. I don't want to be put into a group. The category they're great people i just i'm not that i'm not that way in life and i'm not that way on youtube so watch what i do all i do is film things i do and if it's not interesting to you then don't watch it i don't force anybody to watch my channels but just wanted to make that clear i am not uh in that bunch okay <laughs> not saying i'm a, a you know i'm an a-hole but that is not what I set out to do when I started my channel, you know. So, anyway, I've yapped enough. You guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the view. Happy trails.